everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun little 3D treat holder for you featuring the Catch You Later stamp set. This is from the 2022 Spring Mini Catalog from Stampin' Up. I am using those adorable little monkeys and I made a little treat holder to hold the uh, banana now and later. So I thought that was a pretty fun treat to go with our little monkeys. All right, let's make our box first. Um, I am using some retiring products that you will notice. Um, the first thing is the color Just Jade, which is what our cardstock is. It is retiring. Um, so if you like Just Jade, make sure you get all of those products before the end of, um, let's see, May 2nd, 2022. All right, you're gonna need a piece of Just Jade cardstock that is four by 11. We're gonna score the long side at four and a half, looking at my notes, four and a half and six and a half. Now turn it to the short side and we're gonna score it at one and three. Now, we're gonna add some more score lines in here, but we're gonna stop at these horizontal lines. These are really just cutting guides, these next lines. It's gonna tell you where to cut. Um, you wanna add one at three and at eight, all right? And then turn it around and do three and eight. All right, so that's what your paper looks like. And you wanna grab your bone folder first. And we're going to burnish those lines. Um, remember, those last score lines are just cutting lines, so don't fold those, okay? All right, now grab your scissors, and we're going to cut away the four corners right here, okay? So go in and just trim those out. I should have a long pair of scissors. That would probably be a little bit better, but I do not. Okay. And last one. Like that. All right, now your other score lines, you are gonna just snip, 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 and snip, snip. Okay, so there we have, that's what your piece looks like. Now we're gonna use the delightful tag topper punch. Any tag topper punch will work for this. You're gonna slide that piece in and punch. There we go. Slide the other piece in and punch. There we go, okay? Now, you're gonna take your adhesive. Any adhesive you wanna use will be fine. I would probably suggest Tear and Tape or Tombow or Stampin' Seal Plus, but I am just, for the sake of the video, going to use um, Stampin' Seal. I'm gonna put Stampin' Seal on the outside of these two middle flaps, and then I'm gonna fold these guys up and press them in. All right, there we go. That's what that looks like. Now I have two strips of Just J Designer Series paper, and we're gonna use these to cover up that those sides, okay? So put adhesive along both edges, and you're gonna take this and start here in the center like this, and then burnish fold over like that and fold over like that okay now we're going to do the same thing with the other one the just jade designer series paper is from the 2020 to 2022 in color paper pack. <laughs> I always have to think about those years. I'll have a full supply list for you over on my blog. All right, and then all you're going to have to do is pinch that and tie it together with some ribbon. And I am using the Just Jade and Gold ribbon, also leaving the catalog at the, well, I keep saying the end of April, but really you have until May 2nd. All right, so let's tie that. It's kind of hard to tie when it's empty. All right, there. Now you wanna 
cut those so that they are nice and neat like that. All right, now let's make our little tag with our cute little monkeys. We are gonna stamp our monkeys in memento black on basic white thick cardstock. I like to use my thick basic white to color with my Stampin' Blends. All right, so just stamp it right there in the middle like that. Now the two colors I'm gonna use to color my monkeys are uh, first cinnamon cider, but this is one of our natural tone Stampin' Blends and it's number 800. Um, we'll add that um, for those light colors. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with my light cinnamon cider. And I'm just going to give him color in some of the areas. I'm not gonna do the full area because where he's light is where I'm going to do the um, 800 color. All right, so do his arms and his ears. I'm gonna do just the insides of his ears. I'm gonna do his legs very carefully, stay in those lines. Okay, now take your number 800 and add some color to those areas that are gonna be lighter. All right, now I'm gonna go back with my light cinnamon cider. I wanna add a little bit of color there, a little more there to his ears, and then I'm just gonna take this and kind of blend that edge. You can take that light and just kind of blend them until they look good, like they are blended together. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more of that here on his cute little face. All right, good, so let's do the next one. The same deal, I'm gonna leave that back side of him light and his face is gonna be light. And the outsides of his ears. Don't forget his little arm. I'm gonna add a little more color inside that part of his face, kind of down around like that. Take our our 800 and blend those together. All right, I don't think I need to add any more color. He looks fantastic. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my dark blend, my bl dark cinnamon cider, and I'm going to add that to the branch and then dark just jade. And add that. All right, now I'm gonna take my light pool party and I'm just gonna go around very, ever so lightly around the edge of the image. This is gonna give us a little bit of a shadow behind them. You don't have to do this part, but I like the way it looks. It kind of makes them pop off of the cardstock. All right, so just follow the outside, stay very close. You don't want it very thick. You want it rather thin, actually. And uh, you could also use a light gray for this, but the blue, the pool party, I don't know, something about it just really kind of adds something special to your image. All right, almost there. Let's go around that tail and then around the branch. I mean, this is such a light color. I'm, I'm really kind of following the black line so that there's not a huge thick line around everything. Okay, now I don't know on the video, you may not even be able to see it. All right, let's cut these guys out. We're gonna use one of the Hippo label dies. These are also leaving some of my favorite dies. I hate that they're leaving. Gotta use them while I can. Um, the image just barely fits. I think you might be cutting off just a tiny bit of the um, branch. 
This is the second largest. Okay, now let's bring our box over. I have also cut out a uh, Just Jade Tropical Layer uh, branch. They're called Tropical Layers. I'm gonna add a little bit of texture using my dark Just Jade. I'm just gonna flick on some ink just to give a little bit of variation. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put it, I think I'm gonna put it kind of coming out, let's see, I like this side better for the front, kind of like that. So you can use Tombow, but we're gonna use dimensionals to stick on our little monkeys. So I'm just gonna attach it with dimensionals on top. All right, so now grab your little monkeys and put them right there. You can see that little branch coming out. We need to stamp our sentiment. This is from the Stitch So Sweetly dies, also retiring. And we're gonna stamp our sentiment in Memento Black. This is a cut out of Cinnamon Cider cardstock. I love hanging around with you. All right, another dimensional down here. And then we will finish this off with a tiny little stitched heart that I cut out of Just Jade using the Give It A Whirl dies. There are some stitched hearts in that set that I absolutely love. And I tend to use them a lot. All right, and there you go. How fun is that? This would make a great party favor. Um, if you're having a jungle theme, a zoo theme, um, wouldn't that be a fun little party favor? Or just a fun pick-me-up treat for a friend um, or a coworker. Now, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. There is a free PDF there with the measurements and the supply list, as well as two other Catch You Later projects. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.